this the recording sessions whoever wants to record can record the sessions if you join by laptop you can just record the sessions i have given you the permission fine guys so let us just start so there are five group functions we will see that one second guys yeah the select star from emp1 is the table fine guys now what we have to do guys we have to get the maximum of salary sum of salary let us just see in one query only we will see let us just see select sum of sal comma max of sal comma mean of sal comma average of sal comma count of sal comma count of commission from the table emp1 can you just tell me the output what will be the output of this one annu or uh, lokesh anyone output of this one it will add everyone yes or no yes yes, yes. yes. max yes. will give what which value annu which salary 5000 5000 mean will give what minimum min of salary 800 Average will give what? It will add everything yeah. divided by forty fourteen. Okay. Now what is count cell will give? How many records are there? Fourteen. Yes or no? Yep. Yes. So it will give fourteen. But if I write count of commission, what will be the output? Anyone? Any idea? Count of commission will give what? Four. Four. It will not count the null values. Mm -hmm. If a column is written in the count function. It will not count the null value. So, what will be the output of this query, guys? Everyone, tell me. What will be the output? Anu, what will be the output? Four. 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 Yes. So this is sum, max, mean, average, and uh, count, and four. Fine, guys. Now, there is something called as group by. So, group by function is what to guys to group the data based on the column name. Suppose I want department wise maximum salary. So, what I will write? Select department number, comma max of salary from EMT one. Group by what, guys? Department number. So what will be the output of this query? Lokesh, what will be the output of this query? Any idea? Ah, uh, sir, it will. Uh, hello, it will give the maximum salary hmm. based on the department number. Fine. So department number ten. What is the maximum salary? Is five thousand. Five hundred. Five thousand. Which will be department, department 20, 20, 20, 20, it is 3000 will be displayed like that. It will be showing the department wise maximum salary. Am I clear, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Now, department wise maximum salary if maximum salary is greater than 5000. So, what will be the query? Maximum salary, greater than, maximum salary is greater than 1000. So, what will be this query? Select department number max cell from EMP1. Group by what, guys? Department number having what? 10. Maximum of salary greater than what? 1000. So we see what guys? Uh, what happened in this query? Always see select from, I, I did not wrote from, okay? Select department number maximum salary from EMP one table group by department number having maximum salary greater than 1000. Fine guys. So here what happened, having is a filter condition for which values, grouped data, maximum salary is a grouped data, we'll give multiple input and we'll get one output. That is called as what guys, grouped data. If it is a non-grouped data, we'll use which condition, we'll use where. For grouped data, we'll use having and for non-grouped data, what we will use guys, will we use yeah. where. Am I clear till this much, tell me yes or no? Yes. yes. Where is used before group by, having is used after group by. Suppose I want department wise maximum salary, select department number comma maximum of salary from EMP one table. And I don't want department 10. So what I will write where department number not equals to what guys? 10. Then what I will write? Group by what guys? Group by what? Department Ten. number having what guys? maximum of salary greater than 1000 am i clear see this query tells what i want department wise maximum uh, salary excluding department number 10 and then where the maximum salary is greater than 1000 any doubt in this query guys tell me yes or no are you clear yeah Everyone clear? Tell me yes or no. Yes. 
okay so if you are clear till this much guys so what if multiple columns are selected what will happen if i take department number e name from a max of cell from emp group by department number comma e name what will be the output what do you think uh, lokesh what will be the output if i take if i take in department number and emp name uh, in the uh, group by clause then what will yes. happen it will group by first it will group by the department number then it is e name it will group it will group by what it will it will it will not group like that it will group based on both the columns okay see here this is the table select the start from emp1 now what i have written department number and e name so it will be a unique combination of which are guys department number and e name for department number and e name both this column based on that it will be grouping not based on department number and then e name no based on both the columns so this is a unique value this is a unique value so everything became unique value so we got 14 records am i clear guys tell me yes or no any, any uh, doubts uh, can you please repeat this one vikram sorry yeah, yeah, yeah no 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 ask whatever you want to ask from wherever you want to ask suppose i take e name okay and let us just see see take okay select let us take uh, some yeah let us just take employee number no let us just take a value which is uh, same also okay salary and department number from this table emp1 okay group by salary okay comma department number so now what we are doing guys can you just tell me i am grouping based on these two combinations uh, are you able to understand both this column is becoming a particular one combination and based on that i am grouping the salary 820 is a unique value but if you see these values there where the values are equal any value which is equal just see in any department suppose department 20 any value is equal guys 3000 department 20 value is 3000 yeah department 20 is 3000 and here also department 20 is 3000 yes or no guys yeah okay so so this will become one particular group right so based okay. on that what will happen guys is a, the division will happen okay see here if, now see here are you now see i have uh, executed this query now see department 10 10 not 20 values if you see 3000 is here and then 20 values you see 80 is there now 20 if you see 1100 is there 20 if you see 2975 is there but 20 was with 3000 how many times two times yes or no guys Okay, see, but it's is, not repeated. Yes, yes, that means that means it has become a particular group. Group, so group. Are you yeah. understand? Yes or no, guys? Yeah, yeah. Yes, now I understood. Yeah. So it will be always grouped on the multiple columns, whatever we will take in this select query. Am I clear? Any doubts? Anyone? Samba, Lokesh, uh, Tapashvi, any doubts? Are you clear? Yes. Yeah. Now tell me, guys, if you're clear till this much. Now uh, I write department number from EMP1 group by salary. What will be the output location for this query? Any, any guess? Lokesh, any, any uh, guess? Yes. It will group by based on the salary and give, give the output. Means on by department number, mm. only three output will come. I think. What about Annu, Samba, Lok, uh, Tapaswe? Any guess? Annu, any guess? Yes, yeah, so they are grouping by salary, so which means the salary um, which has repeats, it won't uh, display. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Good guessing. Guys, it will generate error. Are you able to see? Yes. Why, guys? But because the rule of group by is whatever column we will take in the select must be present in the group by statement. Am I clear? Yes or no? 
whatever column we will take in the select must be present after group by but whatever column we'll take in the group by need not to be present in this select did you understood the rule of group by what is the rule of group by whatever column we will take in this select must be present where after group by but whatever column we will take in after group by need not to be present in this select let us just see it by the query suppose i take select salary department number from which table guys emp1 table group by what group by salary comma department number so whatever query we have to column we have taken in this select is present after group by yes or no guys yeah. tell me yes or no. yes so they will this query execute yes 100 percent yes now whatever query we take uh, whatever column we take in the group by need not to be present in the select statement fine guys let us just see so suppose uh, sal from emp1 now i put group by sal comma department number will this query execute guys yes or no yes, yes. whatever query column we will take in the group by need not to be present in the select yes or no guys yes. this is fine now uh, if you have understood both these rules now if i take now tell me if i take select max of cell from emp1 group by department number comma salary comma e name will this query execute tell me yes or no no what did you what i told whatever column will take in the group by need not to be present in the select yes or no it will execute why it will not execute oh, okay. what is the rule whatever column we will take in the group by need not to be present in the select Okay. But whatever column we'll take in this select must be present where? After, After group. group. Am I clear, guys? Tell me yes or no. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, this is the rule of the group by function. So, what we have learned today, guys. First, we learned there are five group functions, some max, mean, average, and count. Then we learned what, guys? Tell me group by. So, group by is used to group the data based on the based on the column name, fine guys. Or it is also defined as it is used to aggregate the data and segre segregate the data based on the column name, fine guys. Aggregate and segregate based on the column name. Then what we learned guys, what are the rules for group by? Can you just tell me rules for group by? What are the rules for group by? Whatever column, what is the rule? Can you tell me? Whatever column we will take in the select statement, what will happen, guys? Should be present where? In the group present by. In the group by. But whatever column we will take where? Group by we need not to be in the... in the group by need not to be present where in select state to be present in the select. Fine. If you have understood this much, tell me what is having, guys. What is having filter condition for what? Can you just tell me filter condition for what? For the grouped data. For the grouped data. Yes or no, guys? Where is filter condition for what, guys? For non grouped data. What is the difference between grouped data and non grouped data? Can you just tell me? Group data will give multiple inputs. How many output will get? One. Okay. And non grouped data, what will happen, guys? One input and mm -hmm. one output. Yes or no, guys? Am I clear with group by? Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you have to write a query to find the number of employees where count of employees is greater than uh, 20. Okay. So write a query to find to find 
the number of employees in each department where the count is greater count is greater greater than 2 that's all write down the query and send me in the chat box first first guys write a query to find the number of employees in each department where the count is greater than 2 write down this query first first this is the table Yeah, what is the query you have written, guys? Yeah, fine. Let me just see. Oh, no, no, no. Select count of department number. From EMP, group by department. Yes, fine, guys. Lokesh, you have written? Yes, I have written. 
Where is the query? Second is my query. Uh, count over from a group. Yeah, this is fine, guys. Fine. So this is a simple query, guys. Not nothing. You have to find the uh, department wise count. Select department number count of. Either you can take column or you can take a star from the table. Okay. Then group by what? Group by department number. And then what is the count, guys? The count should be greater than two. So having count of star. That's all. Greater than two. That's all. Simple query. Fine, guys. We have understood group by, and I have told you the group by. So do you know, guys, uh, order by? Have you ever heard about order by? What is order by? Have you, have you ever heard about? Anyone has ever heard about order by? Order by is used. Lokesh would have heard. Lokesh, you have uh, heard of, Yeah, what is order yes, by? Sir. Order by class is used to uh, sort the results set in ascending order or descending order. Okay. So okay. order so, uh, by hello. is. Uh, yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, sir, sir, in previous query, uh, all, the, all the members are written like uh, having class. Having class uh, before the group by class, okay. Yeah, yeah. it is wrong. Uh, all the no, 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 that's what I told. Uh, in uh, previous first, class. we want to use uh, uh, first, we want to use group by class group, after group by class only. We can use having class. No, 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 no. See, listen, I you did not attend yesterday class. No, see what I told. No, see, having is used where after group, group by, by class, class. Ah, yes, yes. because. It is more logical. Most of the books will tell what because it is more logical, but it is not that having cannot be used before group by. Are you able to understand what is the rule? More logical, most of the book tells what group by and then having we will use. Having is always used after group by, but it is not that having cannot be used before group by. It can be used. Do you want to see? Let us just see. Select, suppose maximum salary, okay? Maximum salary for each department number from which table, guys? EMP1. Having what, guys? Maximum salary greater than 2000 group by department number. Fine, guys. So is it working or not? Lokesh, yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. So having can be used before group by, but it is more logical to write what? First where, then group by, then having, and most of the books follows that. That is why we teach what? Having is used after group by, where is used group by, but if it is the case, can having be used before the group by? Yes, it can be used. It can be used. I showed you, no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Fine, guys. That's okay. So order by is guys, please ask questions as as many as question you can ask. 13 years I have done only SQL only. So I don't think anyone in this country would know more than me with respect to SQL. You can ask anything from any site, any book, any pages. More than uh, six books I have read. I have written my own book. All the notes, whatever I have given is my only. And I don't know how many sites and things I have I would have studied and taught. So you can ask anything from with respect to SQL. So order by is used to what, guys? To short uh, the data in which order? Ascending okay. or which order, guys? Descending order. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Order by is used to sort the data in ascending or descending order. Next is what, guys? By default, uh, it will short in which order? It will short in ascending, ascending order. order. Ascending order. And what is the next thing? If we want to short the data in descending order, what is the keyword we have to use? We have to use a keyword DESC. Right, guys? So what is the syntax? Syntax is very, very simple. What is the syntax? Very, very simple. Order by column name, whatever the column name is there, and then ASC or DESC. Suppose I want 
to short the department number, what I will write? Order by department number, descending order, DES. One thing you remember, guys, order by is always written where, guys? In the end of any SQL statement. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Any end of any always in the SQL statement. It is not that we'll write select and then we'll write order by no. Always in the end. Let us just see, guys, all the things. Now I have to short it based on the department number. So what will be the query? Select a star from EMP1. Then what I have to write based on the department number? Anu, can you just try? I want to short the data based on the department number. What will be the query? Order by what? Department, department number ascending. ASC. Yes or no? Yes. If I don't write ASC, what will happen? What will happen, Anu? What will happen? Still, it will follow the same. Yeah, yeah because that, that is not the mandatory column. ASC, ASC is by default. So order by department number, fine. Okay. Now, guys, if I see here, let's start from EMP1. Now, see, order by department number. That is fine. I have not written ASC. Then also it is fine. By default, it takes ascending order. All the data are sorted in ascending order. Now, if I want descending order, what will you the query, Anu? Select star from which star whatever from GMP1, order by desc first of all the column name department number uh, department number then desc yes or no the department descending order yes or no guys yes so if i want to write a query can you just try this query if you write this query your concepts will be clear department wise maximum salary excluding department department number 20 having maximum salary greater than 2000 okay short the data based on the salary. This query just try. Your concepts will be clear. Department wise maximum salary excluding department number 20 having maximum salary greater than 2000. Okay. And then short the data based on the salary. Just try this query guys. Everyone. You write this query guys. Your concepts will be very very clear. Right, 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 everyone. Samba, please try. Lokesh, no. Everyone, the possibly please try this query. I want all of you to try at least once.
Uh, no, what you have written? Department wise, no, no, that is not correct. Okay, who has written first query is written by Lokesh. Maximum salary from MP by department we are going to having maximum salary greater than two thousand. Where is the mistake you have done, uh, Lokesh? Department wise maximum salary. Where is that group by? Okay, okay. Order by. You, you have removed the group by only. That is incorrect, right? Correct. Uh, Tapashvi maximum salary uh, Tapashvi wrong. Um, Samba select department maximum MP by department order to group by department number having maximum salary order by salary. Yeah, huh? that is also wrong. Uh, no one has written correct query. Try. Samba, your almost is correct. Little bit you have done mistake. Try guys, all of you, ALC will never learn. This query will teach you on group by, order by, having, and maximum salary. Everything is covered in this query. It is very important query. So all of you need to write this. No, no, no. See, see what happens, no, Shamba? You, you see, ASC is not a, uh, yeah, right. Uh, Required. It is a default thing. If you write also fine, but still that is wrong. See, I'll execute your query. It will generate error. You want to see? See. Max up. Are they max up? Try, try, try. So that yeah. you will. You all will learn, guys. Anu, are you trying? Yeah, I'm trying, but I'm not getting properly. Department-wise maximum salary. What about Lokesh? Are you trying, Lokesh? Yes, let's try. Try, try, try. I'll give you time, guys. Two minutes are given to try. Take your time. Try it. Who has one? Yeah, guys, now at least you all are writing somewhat correct query. Good. So, Samba, your query you finally got corrected and look at select department number. See, Anu here, department-wise maximum salary. What is the query? Select department number, comma, what? Max of sal from which table, guys? Anu, can you just tell me from which table? EMP1. EMP1. Then what I have to do, I don't have to include department number 20. So what I will write, where? Mm -hmm. Department equal. number, not equals mm -hmm. to what? 20. 20. Then what I have to do? Group by what? Group by department number. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Then having what, guys? Maximum salary greater than what, guys? 2,000. Okay. Then short it. Order by what, guys? Maximum salary, not the salary, guys. Now there is no salary. That is what is the mistake Shamba was doing. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Am I clear, guys? Yes or no? Any doubts in this query? Any doubts, Anno? No, thank you. Fine. Now let us just modify this query a little bit. I am writing order by two. Now what is the thing I am telling guys? Order by two means what? Anyone knows what is order by two? Lokesh? Yeah, positioning of the column. This is one, this is two. That means yeah. order by maximum salary. Let us just see guys. Yes, position of the column in the select. Yes or no? Yes. 
So now my question to you is, if I do order by one comma two, then what will happen? Lokesh, any idea? Based on the department number and hmm. So that is a wrong answer, guys. Okay. Never the order by is done based on grouping of columns. No. Order by for multiple columns tells the rule is make it crystal clear. Shorting will be done based on the first column. Are you able to understand? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Shorting will be done based on the department number. And only and only if the department number are same at two places, then shorting will be done based on the second column. Let us just see it. Yes, guys. So what did we understood, guys? Shorting of multiple columns, let us understand properly. See, shorting of multiple columns. That means if I tell select star from EMP1, order by employee name and salary, it is not that the sorting will be done based on employee name and salary, no. Sorting will be done based on the employee name. Suppose, let me just make a table so that it will be clear. Employee name is Lokesh. Employee name is Annu and an employee name is Annu. Now, so salary of Lokesh is suppose is earning 1 lakh rupees monthly. And Annu is earning how much? Annu is earning 2 lakh rupees monthly. And now what happens, guys? Here you see, here you see the salary is one more Annu is there. Her salary is 3,000. So now how the sorting will be done? First, it will be based on the names. So Annu, so what will be the output, guys? First, it will be done based on the first column. What is the first column? E-name. So what will be the output, guys? Here, the output will be what, guys? First, Annu will come. And then, here the Annu, Annu is same. If two Annus are same, then we will move to the next column. If two Annus were not the same, then we will not move to the next column. Here, the name is same. Now, it will come to what? The second column. First, Annu, then 2000. Again, it will be what? 2000, I'm telling, 2 lakh. Now, what will happen, guys? Next is what? Next, again, the data will come is as what? Annu. Then it will be what? 3,000. And finally, 3 lakh. And then finally, the last record will be what, guys? Lokesh, 1 lakh. Am I clear, guys? Tell me yes or no. Any doubts, guys, here? Tell me any doubts. Any doubts you want to ask, guys? Tell me. Annu, are you, are you clear? Yeah. Yes or no? So sorting is always done based on what? Based on the first, first column. column. Only if the values are same, then it will be done based on what? The second column. Am I clear, Lokesh? Yes or no? Lokesh, yes. are you there? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So now, guys, tell me if you are clear with this concept. Now tell me this is a table EMP1. Okay. Now I will short the data. Select star from EMP1 order by department number DESC. That means what will happen, guys? Department number will be uh, shorted in which order, guys? Descending order, yes or no? Yes. Now see, I am writing the same query and modifying it. Select a star from EMP1 order by department number descending and salary ascending now what will happen can you just think the output what will happen department number desc it is in desc order now where are the values same is the value same here yes or no guys yes so if the values are same it will be shorted in which order based on the second column guys what is the second column salary mm -hmm. yes or no guys now here the values are same so if the values are same now we will sort it based on this uh, this column. Now here the ascending order 950-1250 like that it will come. Yes or no, guys? Tell me yes or no. Yeah. Are you able to understand what is the output of that query? First, 
it will be sorted based on the department number. Department number is sorted. Now, if the values are same, it will be sorted in which, which column, second column. Here, I want in ascending order. What is the first value, lowest value, 950? 950 has come, yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Am I clear with this concept, shorting with multiple columns? Any doubts, guys, here? Am I clear, guys? Tell me yes or no. Uh, yes. Lokesh, Annu? Yes. Samba? Yes. Yes. If you have cleared this, understood this much, now sorting of multiple column will be done based on which column, guys? Based yes. on the first column. Only and only if the, what happened, guys? Value is same in the first column, then shorting will be done what? Based on the second, second. column. Am I clear, guys? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Sorting by name or number means what, guys? Number means what, guys? Position of what? Position of column where? In the select statement. Am I clear, guys? The next question is, guys, is you have understood this much. You have understood group by, you have understood order by. Now tell me this syntax. How is this syntax, guys? Tell me what is the syntax? Let me just see. First, it is what, guys? Select syntax. I am writing this syntax for select statement. First, it is what? Select. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Then what is that? We'll select the column. Column one, then column two. Like that, we can select how many columns, guys? N number of columns. Yes or no? Yes. Else, we can use what, guys? Star. Yes or no, guys? Yes. From what will happen, guys? From what? Table. table name. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Then we use what? A filter condition, which is what? Where? Then we use what, guys? Group by. Then we use what? Having. And lastly, we use what, guys? Oh. Order by. This is the complete syntax of select statement. Am I clear? Tell me yes or no. Yes. Are you clear with select, uh, select syntax? Yes. Very good, guys. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So you have understood order by and all. So I have given you one PDF. Do you remember that? Yes. So where is that PDF? Are you practicing? Yes, guys. So now slowly you can write some of the queries from this PDF where all the questions are given, answers are given. You can just attempt some of the queries. Let's write down the question and then what you have to do, guys, then you have to write down the answer at your board. Okay, these are the queries. I have shared this PDF to you and document of my SQL also. So that is what we will proceed. So this is the thing we have learned, guys, group by, order by. And the last thing, there is there's some concept called as joints. Have you heard about that? Joints. Yes or no, guys? Anyone? What is join? Anyone knows what is join, guys? Any idea? To learn joins, guys, we have to learn few things. First, we have to know alias name. What is alias name? It is an informal name. Informal name given to a column or a table. That means we can give any informal name to a table or a column that is called as alias name. Suppose this is an EMP one table. Now what I want to give guys is name as I want to give it as O. So I can just write like this, okay? So what will happen is the table name of this table EMP one will be changed to O. Select star from EMP one, okay? Like that guys, the name of the table, we can give change the 
name. How we can give? We can give a space and write O. We can write what? Double quotation O. Fine, guys? Yes. You know, this is the informal name. The EMP1 table name is changed to O now. Either you write in double quotation or you write a, as a give a space and write down. Fine, guys. So this is what uh, I want a table. Select so a star from EMP1. And I write as B. Now the table name is changed to B. I can write like this. I can write like this. Cat. Any name I can give to the table. So that is fine, guys. So this is the name to uh, alias name given to a table to change the table. Fine, guys. Now uh, we were going oh, to. Yes, sorry, so once the name was changed. Uh -huh. And if you want to retrieve the data, we can just um, give the new name. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, in real time, no, what will happen is in real time, the table name will be very, very long. Okay, it will be like this table name will be MPI and EMP. Okay, and then SCFA and the client and then X50. Okay. Now, this is a table name. Now, every time to use this table name is difficult. So, we just put an alias name A and we can use it, call it by using A. We will see in joints how we will use it. That is why I first of all taught, taught you is nothing but your alias name, informal name given to a table or a column. Okay. We'll, we'll use it in the joints now, then it will be more clear. Okay. okay. So, what is a join, guys? Anyone has any idea? What is a joints? Any idea? It is a. Any anyone has ever heard about joints in your life? Lokesh? Based on the similar columns, we can go into join the table. So join is actually in SQL is a method. First of all, join is what guys a method to retrieve data from two or more tables. If suppose there are two tables, three tables, 100 tables, 1,000 tables. Now we have to get the data from two table, three table, or 1,000 table. Then there, there's a method which has come in SQL to get the data from all these tables. That is nothing but joins. So joins is what, guys? Joins is a method to retrieve data from two or more two or more table based on the common column based on what guys common column now common column is what guys common column means values in the columns should be same Column name can be different. Column name can be different. We can have any name. Name does not need to be same. Values needs to be same to retrieve the data from the uh, two or more table. So here we will uh, stop today's session and we'll start tomorrow the 